All right, this is my new Firebrick Forge. Um, it's my own design. Uh, I've made the uh, inside of it here. These interior bricks are soft fire brick. Uh, they're rated to 2600 degrees. These outer bricks are insulating uh, fire brick. They're alumina and uh, they're more like you, what you'd line your fireplace with at home. The reason I have two layers is because I know that moving around in my garage I'm going to occasionally bump these with pieces of metal and stuff and this, this uh, lightweight fire brick is pretty fragile and I just I don't want to break it because I don't want to have to replace it and rebuild it. So I've made the outside of it from this very durable very heavy hard alumina brick and that way it'll just protect it. It'll keep the whole thing uh, solid so that I don't have to uh, do, engage in maintenance, you know, replace whole bricks or anything from the inside of this. Uh, it's only the length of one brick for now, so it's only nine inches deep, but that's plenty for doing knives, you know, knives that I want to place in there. It's plenty long. When I want to make it longer, it'll be a piece of cake to simply uh, it's make another one of these and put it here, add, uh, add another burner to it, and make it twice as long so I can do longer blades. And if I want to make it longer than that, I'll make yet another one. It's, it's cheap and easy to add on to the back of that. So um, this uh, burner I bought, this is a really nice Venturi burner that I bought from a company in Portland. Uh, it's something like Metal Arts or something like that. Anyway, they sell forges, but their forges are expensive. The burner is actually not terribly expensive and it's really, really nice Venturi burner. So uh, this metal here, I've made a, this is just my design as well. I've made this metal frame that goes over the outside of it. Uh, I'm not, I don't really know how to weld yet and so instead of trying to weld something onto it I've used a floor flange here and this is just a two inch diameter schedule 80 pipe and so this I made myself but it, it only required drilling holes and threading the holes and using bolts and screws and stuff. It didn't require any drilling and so then the Venturi burner, I don't know if you can see the hole right up in here. That's where the the Venturi burner blows the heat into the forge. Anyway, um, I've made the access, I've made the opening here, the hole, fairly big diameter. And there's a reason for that. Having a big diameter actually makes for a fairly inefficient forge. I mean, you have to pump a lot more heat into it to get the inside of it hot. But there's a reason. Eventually, I'm going to do forge welding. Uh, either for katanas or Damascus or whatever. And when you do forge welding, number one, you need a bigger hole because you have piled up uh, several stacks of metal on top of each other. But also you use flux and the flux eats, the, eats through this brick here. And the thing is this, I don't want to have to replace the floor of this. So if I'm doing forge welding and I have to replace the floor, I've got to take this thing apart in order to replace the floor. Rather than doing that, I can just place bricks. Now, obviously, I'm going to uh, cut these down and make them thinner, but I, I, I'm, I'm always going to be working with a second floor in here that's a, a, an inch or so high, and that will be what will get eaten up by the flux. And when those bricks get eaten up, I'll take those out and throw them away, and I can put new ones in here. So a couple of things will happen. That new floor will close down some of the volume of the inside of this, and so it'll make it more efficient. And then also I can just throw that away when I'm ready and uh, uh, that way I won't have to be replacing the real floor in my forge. Anyway, so there's my forge, that's my design, and I'm going to fire it up and see how it works. I just wanted to show what the forge looks like, uh, heated up and running at high temperature. Uh, this is actually nowhere near as hot as I can get it, but uh, I've settled on this after fine-tuning it as a reasonable temperature for forging metal. It'll heat that piece of metal up in no time flat. Anyway, just wanted to show what the forge looks like all heated up.